Boy, have you ever been stuck at an airport? You've checked all your social networks and texted all your friends. Then you see that scary message, 10% charge left. You find the closest charging station and plug in your phone. And just like that, you're the victim of a cyber attack. This is known as juice jacking, and it's a real risk in public places. Charging stations in shopping centers, airports, hotels, and food courts, or even on public transport, can hide things that put your data security at risk. So how does it work? The hackers install a special program on a public charging station. Anyone who connects their device will get that suspicious software installed straight onto their phones. Take a look at your USB charger. A regular USB connector has 4-5 to five pins inside. Only one is used for energy transfer, the rest are used for data transfers. Most modern phones have data transfer mode disabled by fault, but some older Android versions are vulnerable to hacking, and some people may have accidentally turned on data transfer in their settings sometime earlier. When you plug your phone into your computer, you'll be asked whether to trust the device. But you won't realize that the data transfer has already taken place through the charging station. Once the connection's been established, there are two main risks. The first one is data theft. When you connect up to the compromised port, a criminal can infect your device and steal your data. Special programs allow them to look through your files and apps. Your credit card information, logins and passwords, and other personal information can all be compromised easily. This is usually enough for them to gain full access to your financial accounts. The other type of danger is the installation of malware. This is software that can clone all of your phone's data to the criminal's device. The installed app might also gather information on you, such as your GPS movements, purchases, social media activity, and your photos, messages, and calls. Or one day, you might wake up to see your phone locked with a message Send money to this account to unlock your phone. Another risk is adware. You'll see unwanted ads and commercials on every page you open on your phone. The worst kind are the invisible ones that are downloaded to your computer when you sync your phone at home. So, how can you protect yourself? Well, first of all, avoid using public charging stations. Turn on battery percentage visibility. Limit your app use, and check what apps eat away at your battery even if they're not open. Get into the habit of charging your phone at home, at work, or in the car. That way, you'll never find yourself in the middle of the airport with no charge. But if your device's battery is not in the best shape, or you constantly use your phone, carry a regular wall outlet charger with you. If you see that your phone is almost out of battery, just plug it in somewhere using your own charging device. There's no way to transfer data or harm your device if you use one of these. Or how about taking a small portable battery with you? There are so many right now on the market. Hey, you can get one with a cute design and be on the go and not worry about your phone security. But if none of these is an option, I've got another solution for you. Put your phone away and read a book. <laughs> Asking too much? Well then, first install a good antivirus app on your phone. Yes, it might feel like the age of easy-to-miss viruses that can destroy your computer has passed, but that doesn't mean your device isn't at risk. It never hurts to install some good protective software. You can also get some physical protection. Small USB pass-through devices work like little adapters between your USB cord and your phone. They stop the data connection and only allow power to go through. But let's say you have to use a public USB charger. How would you know that your phone has been infected? Well, look for these signs. See how fast your phone works. If all of a sudden your brand new phone can barely load apps, well, that's a warning sign. Another one is apps crashing or if your phone restarts randomly in the middle of the day. That means some background process is eating up your device's processing power. But remember that older phones work slower with newer operating systems or apps. Just watch out for a sudden change. Likewise, look out for your phone overheating. Sometimes you see scary messages saying things like, your device needs to cool down before you can use it. This might simply be caused by high external temperatures that heat your phone up to critical levels or because you've played your favorite game for way too long. 
but it could also be because your phone has been infected. Again, watch out for sudden changes to your device's behavior. Unexpected changes to the battery level can also indicate an unknown threat. If you've locked your phone and put it in your bag with 50% charge, and an hour later it only has 20%, hmm, something is definitely amiss. But the most telling signs are changes to your phone or data usage that you had nothing to do with. If you see surprising changes in your phone settings, especially privacy settings, that's a very clear sign that someone else has access to your phone. Check your data usage statistics regularly. If you see that 1-2 to two gigabytes have suddenly been used for something that you haven't done, it's time to be worried. If you noticed anything like this, check your device for apps that you don't remember installing. Most spyware is invisible, but sometimes it looks like a regular app that has installed itself on your phone. In this case, you should first restore your device to factory settings, then update your apps. Developers constantly upgrade their security. And finally, install an antivirus. It can detect and delete viruses and clean up your device. But public charging stations are not the only way cybercriminals can hack your device in public places. Do you know how much information they can steal over public Wi-Fi? Every time you connect to a public network, everything you do will be visible to hackers. Since the connection is not secure, they have no problem in intercepting the information. So remember these simple rules. Don't input your personal or sensitive information while on public Wi-Fi. This includes banking information, passwords for social media, emails, and so on. Install and use VPN programs that can secure your connection to the internet. They usually cost money, I know, but nothing beats knowing that your sensitive information is protected. Invest in an unlimited data plan for your phone if possible. It's a fast and simple way to create a Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone. That way, you are always protected. And finally, turn off file sharing. This can be done in a few clicks on different operating systems like Mac or Windows. This will protect your information and your work from any attacker. And don't forget to try the book thing sometime!